some people may say to me it doesn't really matter how long we should pray for let me ask you this let's say that your car engine or cars engine is not working and let's say that it takes about two hours or more to fix it and let's say that you only place 10 minutes into fixing it is your car going to work properly I would think not let's say that you want to get really really fit and let's say that in order to get that way you have to do something an hour every other day or something like that but let's say that you only do it for 20 minutes does it matter if you don't place enough time into something as you can see yes it really does matter time does matter so when you are praying I know some people or I believe there are some people they only pray like seconds before they go to sleep like when they are in bed and about to go to sleep they begin to pray then drift asleep so at the most <clears throat> you may be praying for about two minutes or so now it is good to pray even for a second but two minutes that is not really going to cut it and you may ask me well how long should a person pray for how long a person should pray about one hour a day if you are able to one hour a day now if you are doing two minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes so on and so on that is better than nothing but what you should aim for you should aim for at least an hour I believe I have said this in other videos but at one time or around this period of time I was praying for about three hours or a day or so and you may say that is a whole lot man there are people who pray for six to ten hours and higher a day now that is a lot and I have no idea on how they can pray so much so what can you do to increase your prayers well one easy way is to make a prayer list I know for myself I forget things so easily at times my mind be on random things and my mind just go from one thing to the next to the next <laughs> so at times especially when they are important what I have to do I have to write down things so I will remember them so make a prayer list it is really going to help you let me say this 
God has given man dominion over this world. So we have control over this world. And what some evil people do, they give their dominion over to demons. So they are praying to demons so that they can reap havoc in this world. As humans, we have the choice to give our dominion over to demons, Satan, God, whomever. We have evil people in this world giving their dominion, their power, over to demons. There are people here that witches pray against. So you are wondering why you can't get out of lust. You can't get out of stealing. You can't get out of this and that. Prostitution and stuff like that. You are wondering why kids get molested and raped and stuff like that. People are giving their dominion over to demons. There are people who are praying to demons. We have to take that in account. So you are walking around in this world thinking that all you see is all there is and you have people praying against you for your downfall. And you are not willing to pray for yourself. It is like a person comes to you, continues to punch you right in the face over and over and over again, and you are just willing to sit there, not doing anything back, not trying to escape, but just sitting there. How crazy is that? Pray. Look. We have to know that witches, I don't know how the whole process is, but they pray in groups. You know, the more people that you pray with, the more effective your prayers are going to be, no matter if you are praying to demons or God. But we know that God is powerful, more powerful than demons and Satan and stuff like that. So if more of us would pray it would take a lot more of them to pray for demons to attack us. We have no idea of how evil people are. Let me say this. Before things can get to this realm, this earthly realm, it first has to come from the spiritual realm. So, Whatever manifests on this side, it has to start in the spiritual realm first. Hence, this is why evil people are praying to demons and doing other supernatural things to harm us. Well, that doesn't make any sense, Kevin. Well, just go watch your movies and TV shows and stay in sin. We have to understand that we are in a spiritual war. Not so much against demons. Yes, it is against demons. But what we have to understand is that our own kind is working against us. And I am not saying that you should go where they live and burn their home and stuff like that? No. What I am trying to say, what works best 
even against witches and evil people, is to pray for them. Make a prayer list. I am not saying that you have to go to a witch's home and put a cross on it <laughs> or put holy water on their home. I am not saying that. I am not saying that you have to go to their den or wherever they go to pray and stuff like that. I am not saying that. But we need to pray more. Even with me, I want you all to pray for me. We have to understand when you go out, let me say this, when you follow God's rules and regulations, you are surrendering everything over to God. And you are going out and teaching people about God. You have to know that those people are going to get attacked by demons a lot more than the average person who continues to dip in and out of sin constantly. So the leaders that lead people or teach people, whether they are really popular or non-popular, you have to know that they are being attacked by demons <clears throat> so what you should do even if you don't know what is going on in their lives what you should do is pray for them for instance and I really don't want to speak about this but I believe it is going to do good either a day ago or two days ago, perhaps a day ago. I went to bed late. I don't know if I prayed much that day. But anyways, I was halfway asleep and halfway awake. No, I went to sleep. And I don't know how long I was asleep for maybe five or ten minutes I don't know then all of a sudden I believe I woke up but I was halfway asleep and halfway awake if that makes any sense and I felt pressure pushing down on me and I could not move. I could not speak. The only thing that I could do is think and I guess see as well. So I could see, but I could not see the demon that was pressing down on me. But anyways, and I am not trying to freak anyone out or anything like that. So keep this in mind. So while I was paralyzed by a demon, <laughs> this demon was filling all over my chest, all over my chest and around my private part as well around my legs and stuff like that and <laughs> crazy and I felt the evil presence as well and since I could not say anything since I could not move since I could not really do anything only thing I could do Within my thoughts, I was saying, I reject you right now. I reject you right now. I continued to say that over and over and over and over again. And it felt like I was saying it for about five minutes or so. 
I'm serious now. I am really serious. And partly throughout the attack, this demon was filling on me. <laughs> I'm serious. What is that word? Sexual harassment? I guess you can say that. And it actually felt like a human being, like an actual person, person touching me. So I continue to say I reject you right now over and over and over again. So within five minutes or so, I was released. And I was kind of mad. But I started to think, well, what can you do? I can't curse the demon out or anything like that. I can't you know, punch anything or whatever else. So I just have to move on. So the reason why I am telling you this, not to freak you out, not to show you, oh, you should pity me and stuff like that. No, because I could tell you some other things that is more crazy than that, but My point is, we are in a spiritual war. We are at war. Demons are warring for our souls, man. Witches believe that they are going to get a particular reward for dooming other humans. But when they go to hell or if they don't repent, they are going to find out that, hey, they are going to hell and they are going to get tormented worse than the average human that goes to hell because of what they have done. Satan is not going to share his kingdom with no demon or with no human. So to think that a prideful, disloyal, being is going to do right by you, that is foolish. Someone evil going to follow up or do, how can I say this? A disloyal being, you believe that they are going to, going to follow through with what they promise you. It is not going to happen. So while you are placing curses on humans and stuff like that, you have to know that you are going to reap what you sow. So what you are doing to people, ultimately, it is going to come back to you. It is only a matter of time. I pray that makes sense. You can't curse people without cursing yourself. You can't call upon demons without cursing yourself. I am going to curse this person because, you know, I hate them. You are going to curse yourself. Whatever you do to people, it is going to come back to you. Anyways, this is why we need to pray. Make a prayer list. The length of time that you pray does matter. It matters a whole lot. So much. My Lord. And this is what I tell other people. And this is what I practice with other people as well. Prayer. If you want to get stronger in God, you have to pray more. You have to read your Bible, and that is going to help you obey. Why can't you obey God? Because you are not praying. You are not repenting. You are not reading your Bible. It is the basics that you have to do. So if you have a very short memory, a very low attention span, Remember this, 
make a prayer list. We are in a war. In a war. Hey, Kevin, I can't stop sinning. I can't stop doing this. I can't stop masturbating. I can't stop blah, blah, blah. We are in a war. I keep saying this and in many of my videos, I'm pretty much saying the same things, but I still have people ask me, what can they do? This is what you have to do. I can't give you a pill and it is going to fix everything. I can't give you a shot in the arm and make it fix everything. No, you have to do the basics. There is no quick fix. If you want God, you have to sacrifice. It is a sacrifice to pray. It is a sacrifice to read the Bible. It is a sacrifice to do all of these things. If it was easy, I believe that more people would do it. But obviously, it is not that easy, I guess. When you begin to follow God's rules and regulations, when you surrender everything to God, you are really going to see what I am speaking about with these supernatural experiences and with these, with everything else I am speaking about. And I am not I am not saying that I know everything because there is so much that I don't know. <laughs> so the things I am telling you now, there is so much more information that I am not saying. So I pray that this makes sense. You have to put your work in. This is why you need to be more focused with your spiritual life more than your earthly life. Well, you know, I have to go to college. I have to do this. I have to make money. I have to get married. I have to have kids. What good is all of that if you are under demonic oppression every day? <laughs> How can you enjoy life if you are being hindered by demons every day. You are focusing on the wrong things. You, you are focusing on how to make more money and stuff like that and not focusing on the things that is important. God is not going to reward you based upon how good of a job you have, how many degrees you have, how many houses you build and stuff like that unless you build them for other people but everything is going to be based upon if you followed god's rules and regulations how much you prayed how much you read the bible how much you helped people this is what you are going to be rewarded in not your college degrees and your work ethic and stuff like that. No. I pray that this makes sense. I am trying to break everything down so things are much easier to understand. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless. And really take heed to everything that I have explained because it is really going to help you pray more at least one hour a day if you can if you can't don't beat yourself over or yeah don't beat yourself up over it okay God bless